deficit in 2022. Mutuma in a tweet noted that he fits the job as he has been receiving requests from people of Machakas asking him to return to leadership. Mudama served as the first senator of between 2013 and 2017. Our reporter Carol Wangari Wanjiru has the report. Former Machakos Senator Johnson Mudama has announced that he now has his eyes set to become the next Machakos County boss. The new entrant in the race is expected to complicate matters for other potential candidates including Wiper Party's Wavinia Ndeti in a quest to who will become the next Machakos governor. In a tweet, Mudama, who is currently chairman of DP William Ruto, led you. The party stated that he had taken a break from politics after serving as the first senator of Machakos between 2013 and 2017, a move that makes him fit for the job as he has been receiving requests from the people of Machakos asking him to return to leadership. Mudama worked as key ally of FOIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka and finance of the party. This is after he refused to work with DP William Ruto, a union that Mudama was highly in support of. In January last year, Mudama announced that a Ruto Kalonzo deal was in the offing, but the former vice president dismissed the claim. Mudama had influenced Kalonzo's political direction from the year 2007 when he ran for presidency and teamed up with Mwaiki Baki the following year to become his vice president. In 2013-2017 polls, Mudama was a key dealmaker in handing Raila the presidential ticket with Kalonzo as his deputy. Carol Wangari Wanjiru. Look up TV, Nairobi. Right, and we move on. The Task Force on Cancer Management has begun plans to begin holding public hearings in Mombasa County. The officials of this task, task force, I beg your pardon, met with leaders of Coastal General Hospital, where they tour the current and the new construction building under way for the care at the hospital. Alia on the task force held a forum in Meru County. Our reporter Keith Gitonga with more on that report. The task force on cancer management is currently holding a public hearing in Mombasa County on clinical reforms to help in the formulation of recommendations that will guide in clinical reform initiatives aimed at improving cancer prevention, diagnosis and treatment in the country. The task force aims to collect views from other stakeholders including members of the public. Earlier on, the task force, which was constituted by Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe and Principal Secretary for Health Susan Muchache on 10th May 2021, held a public hearing in Meru County at the Kamundi Hall, where it engaged with key stakeholders drawn from the regions with the highest cancer burden in the country. The task force has already held consultative forums with cancer service providers, related sector actors, before starting the initiative. The participants in the Meru County Forum included cancer survivors whom they called for increased access to medical care, arguing that equipping sub-county hospitals with adequate medicine and specialists will go a long way in containing the cancer problem. The attendees called for the decentralization of cancer services by enhancing the capacity of sub-county hospitals. They also urged the government to consider waiving charges for cancer medication in any effort to cushion vulnerable families. In a press statement released by the Ministry of Health, these hearings will help the task force come up with policies to guide efforts to improve cancer diagnosis and treatment in the country. This statement reads, the task force will hold the public hearings in Mombasa today at the Complex Hall, Moy Avenue of Aga Kanuok, which will commence at 10 a.m. Owing to the COVID-19 prevention protocols and social distancing considerations, the number of attendees during today's public hearing will be limited to one-third of the capacity of the hall. Keith Gitonga, Lookup TV, Nairobi.